Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So it's hot. That's a pretty big energy to be starting out with. The temperance energy. Okay, so dang. Oh my lord. Golly, the five of pentacles when it comes out is good. Ooh. Okay, so we have someone. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo. Uh, someone is someone is going through some type of dark night of the soul, baby. They're losing a lot. Someone may have received some type of bad communication, some type of letter, some type of text message, some type of phone call that has told them that they're going to be losing everything. They're going to have to be leaving something behind or they're going to be losing some type of either position, a house, or some type of situation or someone is not going to be accepting an offer from them. Someone's very hardworking behind the scenes. They may be even angry, pissed off because this could be someone that's been working really hard behind the scenes to destroy another person's fulfillment in life, your resources and things like that. Someone has been trying to deplete you of your stability. So this is like someone trying to cause you a lot of different like financial issues so that you can have to keep spending money and by the time it's over, you don't have anything in your bank account left and then they can hit you with their last best shot and then you're just done. This is someone very uh, just immature. Someone just refuses to grow up. Okay, uh, so every with the fact that we're starting out here with Archangel Michael, this is letting this is us being told by Michael that he's all over this situation. Uh, he said, I got time today, tomorrow, and any other day. So you could be someone that's very well affiliated with these angels. Maybe you're an ascendant master and they are moving and interceding on your behalf. Maybe your angel is very well versed in these types of things. Uh, so they're taking action on your behalf whatever these people are doing is not going to go in their favor there could be an uh, impress energy behind the scenes that's upset because she's not getting what it is that she wants is going towards a queen of pentacles that's actually in the upright this could be an empress that's been pretending to be something or someone that she's not has been collaborating with a group behind the scenes to make sure that something goes in their favor but whoever this uh sagittarius leo aries whoever this temperance energy is this is someone that's very reckless and i'm not sure why this person is even showing up as a temperance energy it could be the fact that this is how they present themselves to a community maybe someone acts that they're in the upright i'm telling you <laughs> he's worried about going through karma maybe <laughs> whatever you're going through right now this is just the pick this is just the tip of the iceberg. I said, Peak. this is just the tip of the iceberg, baby. It's going to get worse. You want to be out here being reckless, taking impulsive actions to cause people towers, natural disasters. The universe is about to show you what a natural disaster is. So whatever you're going through right now, this is just the beginning. Uh, it's what I'm being told to tell you. This is just the beginning of your nightmare. So whatever you've been doing, you may want to stop it. I know you have a big ego. Such a big ego. Such a huge ego. Yeah, I'm telling you. So whatever action this man took has caused some type of stagnation in his life. He's not able to move forward. Uh, maybe someone is very is out here very reckless, just being seen for exactly who he is. Someone's very immature, very childish, maybe going through some type of stagnation, a lot of hesitation. Someone's very immature. It's crazy that I say immature because I don't read these cards a lot. I just be looking at the pictures and stuff, you guys. Um, but it says immaturity on here. So someone is very immature. Um, th there's someone, this man deals with a lot of insecurities. But on the surface, when you see him, he looks calm and ready like Eminem. <laughs> on the surface, when you see this man, he looks at someone in the upright. He looks at someone that's very diplomatic, well-educated. He could be educated, but just doesn't carry himself that way. Um, and it doesn't matter the level of education. 
listen, he went to school for something or he put in the work to learn something, that's education. But someone does not someone does not really live to up to who they are behind closed doors. Uh this is someone that presents themselves to be in the upright. This is someone that presents themselves to be an ideal partner, but is very karmic, very toxic. Someone may have been stealing from people, trying to force some type of new beginning, whatever this is. Um it looks like he was trying to take another pl plot. He was trying to plot another attack on someone. Maybe he was gonna leave an institution to come towards you to give you a piece of his mind or to present you with something, make you feel uncomfortable, make your environment unsafe for you. I'm telling you, this is a cold-blooded narcissist. He was he is coming to make your environment absolutely uh uncomfortable. He don't want you feeling secure. Maybe this is someone that feels like you rejected him or something like that. Um and he's just out here taking all kinds of action. This could be a woman as well, mind you, because energy is fluid in tarot. So this could be a woman as well. But they are out here just doing any and everything. They want to dismantle you. This person says that they don't they won't be satisfied until you are hurt. You're broken hearted. You're just <clears throat> you're just in a state of destitute. Don't got nothing to your name. Out in the cold. God forbid it's winter. You're out here, no clothes or nothing, no shoes, just you know, freeze in the death. But this man wants to see someone in a very deplorable state, and you got to be a special kind of broken to be wishing that on another human being. And I keep picking up on so that someone as could ex could be involved in something. And you know, there's something where it's like it's one thing to not want to see a man or a woman thrive in life, move on with their life. But when you take the action, especially if you all have children together or a child together or something, you're taking repetitive action to destroy someone's life, not caring how it affects that person and their children, let alone the fact that you have kids with that person. So you don't even care about how your actions affect that child. That should let you know how damaged you are that you don't care that you're taking from a child's mouth. You're taking from a child's well-being, a child's well um, welfare. Like you're putting them in a state where it's like they don't have what it is that they need to. Maybe you didn't have what you needed to when you were growing up. That does not mean that other children should not have. This is how people keep this toxic karmic cycle going because they get out here because hurt people hurt people. This is what the karmic people in karmic they do that's how they believe they say you know what people did this to me so i'm gonna do it to them shoot that's what they did to me so why can't i do it to everybody else that's not how it goes that's how you keep that curse going on um the challenge is if you really want to be someone that's seen as someone of high honor someone that has self-respect someone that's actually who uh, um, has something to offer to society, someone that needs to be taken seriously. The, you you got to do things that are a little bit more challenging. The challenge is you knowing that people did you wrong, people did you something, but instead of you, you know, re reciprocating that energy, you choose the higher, the higher routes, right? I'm not saying like go be friends with that person, but instead of you doing the same thing to them or going to do it to someone else, you actually take the time to do the inner work and move on with your life. But someone like this, whoever I'm picking up, this group that I've been picking up, that kind of thinking does not resonate with them. These are people that just care about money. They just care about how things look on the outside. What's going on on the inside is irrelevant. It says, true. I'm married to uh, uh, Jessica of uh london or whatever we are uh, wealthy we're filthy rich but the whole time they've been stealing to be wealthy um it's just a title really the fact that they're married they have this position they have this business it's all about title for these kind of people someone's childhood was very cold it was very deplorable it was very toxic maybe he didn't have what it is that he needed when he was a kid or she needed when she was a kid uh and maybe someone became a person that kind of holds on or collects likes to like tick 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 and they don't care how they're getting it they'll do anything to not end up back in this state of poverty and oftentimes people don't realize the universe is teaching you a lesson it's like 
Are you going to keep stealing from people just so you don't end up in poverty because that's the rule you're headed right to with the fact that you're garnering your wealth by taking from other people. So basically you're telling the universe, I don't deserve to have anything that has my name to it. I don't want my abundance. I want other people's abundance. So I'm going to go out here and take it from there. And you know the universe is going to balance that out because that's you telling them you want to be right back in that situation. And it looks like this is where he's headed right into poverty for what it is he did to someone this man has been out here just doing any and everything everything you've been doing or everything she's been doing is being illuminated the truth is out you could have two different people in here one is karmic and the other is in the upright maybe this person could also be going through some type of healing you're choosing to maybe bring the truth to some type of situation or they're going through some type of epiphany cho choosing to do the right thing but this is someone that's been very determined to destroy you it's like they want to cause you heartbreak i don't know if maybe you left someone in the past and maybe they're choosing not to accept the reason why you either left them in the past or why you refuse an offer from them is because they were not where they were supposed to be emotionally or mentally i'm telling you emotionally or mentally this person was not where they were supposed to be so when you left them they may have gotten into an energy of oh well he left me she left me they turned their back on me so now i have to destroy them and again that's not how life works just because something doesn't go your way does not mean you can get out here and destroy other people's lives. That's not how the universe operates, okay? So this person may have been taking or is still taking action behind the scenes to destroy or hinder your resources, your foundations, and probably has been working with people. Two men could be best friends. It's that like one of them is very karmic and the other, both of them could really be karmic, but one maybe is a little bit more tolerable than the other one. Um... Maybe the person that initially started coming after you, you ended up in his best friend's community or something, and now he goes to reach out to his best friend or whoever and tells them to do you something, watch you, or uh, whatever the situation is. And something has gone a lot farther, longer than it was supposed to supposed to go. Something has gotten out of hand, is what I'm hearing. There's going to be something exposed about why this man has been so determined to come after you. Uh, and it has to do with your, I don't know if it's your, like your resources, your self-sufficiency, your independence or something like that. Someone does not like the fact that you're business savvy you're a good mother like you're someone that's independent it could it could be bothering this man but it's like why would something like that bother you the fact that you are actually wanting women that don't got nothing going on for themselves emotionally or mentally says a lot about you that tells people that you're very insecure um and you want women that are insecure so that you can have some type of control over them especially financially because if you're dating women that don't have nothing going on for themselves then they are kind of at your mercy it's like they can't go shopping until you give them money and they can't cook until you give them money they can't do this they can't do that um, they can't take they cannot take care of themselves until you give them money and they're living in fear is that one day you may give them money the next day you decide not to give them money oh nobody got time for that nonsense nobody got time for that like we want to be able to look into our cup and see that whatever we work for there's a return on investment and there's something in that cup that we can take out of there and fulfill ourselves right and we can get out here and be able to help people and, you know, achieve what, we, what it is we're supposed to create our destinies and things. But this man, whoever I'm picking up on, mm, 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 a brother needs some help. He needs some healing, but he don't want to. Someone's, someone's out here acting out of ego, basically. They're stalking you. They're watch, watching you, uh, gossiping. This is like a male gossiper. And someone's someone's been seen for exactly who he is or she is, and they may not even know it. Uh, they may just be out here still walking around like they're very confident, but the whole time they're living in fear because people are starting to see the truth. They may even want to communicate with you, but they're going they're they're a little bit hesitant because you may not respond, or maybe they sent you communications already and you didn't respond. And you have your reasons more than likely for not responding. You may not even have received a message. Maybe you don't check that mailbox anymore, that email. Maybe you don't have that phone number anymore. Maybe you don't live where you used to anymore. There's something where it's like a man, maybe a man or someone has been trying to communicate or is thinking about communicating. Yeah, like he wants to clear things up with you. Have a one-on-one. -on -one 
one with you or something like that. Um, baby, I don't know what the heck this nonsense is. I just know there's a man going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes, losing his shenanigans. Um, maybe someone saw you as like a page of cups and they just assumed that it would be able to just destroy you. Um, or a woman saw you as their energy as well and they just decided they were going to destroy you and take something from you. Uh, just bully. This is like a bully at the end of the day. This man is nothing but a bully. Uh, this is like what monsters are made of, basically. Like someone is out here pride, proud to be a monster, proud to be a bully, and it don't make no sense. And it's literally them just bullying someone that's not even paying them any mind, someone that has not done any, anything to them. It's basically out of ego. Like they would just want to end someone. That's all. There's a woman of high honor in a community that's about to go through a tower. You're going to be losing everything. And I think I've said this before. You're going to be losing everything because of how you got it. You may have stolen uh, what it is that you got. You could be someone that's privileged, but your privilege comes from you stealing something from other people or someone else. It's going to be taken from you. Yeah, this is the end of your privilege. This is the end of you paying for some type of connection to be blocked, okay? This is you. This is the end of you paying for friendship, for uh, uh, opportunities, paying for people to steal from other people, block other people, sneak other people. You're about to be like very humble out here. You're going to have to work for what it is that you want. I don't know if you are the one trying to fleece. I've picked up on someone trying to, like I had a premonition of someone trying to run, go on the run or something. I said go on the run and the seven of swords is out here. Someone may be trying to get away from a situation, sneak, uh, but someone is also trying to temper with someone else's work. It's like they don't want you being committed. It may be trying to temper with your energy, how you're doing something, uh, cause some type of deception about your work. It's that they want people to believe that you're someone very karmic, very manipulative, very dark. Uh, basically, everything they are is what they want people to believe you to be. So they want people to disregard you, people to isolate you, reject you, all kinds of stuff. Like someone wants to cause some type of still made, some type of environment or experience for you where it's just like you're by yourself. No one wants to associate with you. I don't know. The the thing the, the thing that these kind of people always forget is that those are things that work on you all. It doesn't work on light workers. There's that you all are at a stage that the light workers used to be at. You you feel me? You feel me? So where you are is where we used to be. So when we were where you were, those tactics we have worked, the scarcity tactic, uh, trying to disconnect us from friends, families, uh, our audiences and things like that. Those kind of things we have worked will work on us if we are in your energy, but we're not in your energy and you can't take us back to your energy. Part of the reason why you are seeing us start out here with this archangel energy, we are far gone. It's like you're in the old earth trying to temper with someone in the new earth the frequency there's a gap there's a barrier it's not going to go the way you want it to go okay but it says someone is in the old earth still in that lower realm that low vibrational energy and they still want to come and temper with someone that's in the new earth someone that has ascended right um so and they, they and then they keep uh getting pissed off angry at why the fact is why is it that they keep doing all of these malicious things to you and you're still out here focused on your work and still, you know, out here doing the right thing, still someone of integrity, okay? Still someone of integrity. There's a community that's about to go through a really horrible loss. <sighs> Some type of really horrible loss. Either a connection, like a relationship is over, a collaboration is over, I, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's a terrible, terrible. Oh my gosh. They don't went from the five of pentacles to the tower. Like the universe is setting something up for it to just be a disaster. And I'm hearing never to come back from. They said whatever they're about to do to these people, they won't be able to recover from it. When they, when they like sit back and reflect on all the actions they were taking, they're going to regret everything they ever did. They said you won't be able to recover from what it is they're about to do to you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. 
you're not going to be able to recover. So they want you to know that. There's something that you all have been doing that's been illuminated as well. Um, I know you're maybe trying to hide it and act like you didn't know what was going on. Try to walk around with a mask, pretending that everything is okay. It's all being illuminated. These are people that take actions from behind the scenes. They don't want you speaking the truth. They'll, you know, like someone, let's say you're living your life, minding your business, and you got someone behind the scenes tempering with your money and, you know, telling lies, defaming you, sneaking you. Maybe they like you, you don't like them back, or you just don't know that they like you and you ain't paying attention to them. But while they're doing all of those things to you, you are aware. But they don't want you to talk about it. They don't want you to illuminate the truth. They don't want anyone knowing what it is that they're doing, doing to you, but they're going to keep on going and lying and slandering your character. But... Something happens where it's that the truth is exposed and then instead of this person humbling themselves and maybe just turning a new leaf and choosing to walk away, they get pissed off and start trying to cause you even more problems. Not realizing that the act of them causing you more problems is making things worse for them. Because at the end of the day, the universe has you cover. I'm telling you, the universe has you cover, but this person, uh-uh. You see here, we got this five of uh, pentacles in the tower. They don't got this person covered. Someone's about to go through some type of horrible event. Someone considers themselves the master of natural disaster, okay? And the universe is about to teach them what a natural disaster is. You won't be able to recover from what it is they're about to do to you. And that's called balance. They're balancing it. Like, you're about to be stuck in some type of situation. You may even end up in a court case that you're going to end up having to pay a hefty amount of money um, by the time it's over. Like, you put yourself in some type of hole that just does not make sense. No one should be this happy to deplete themselves, to end their own journey, to uh, cause themselves endings, right? I'm telling you, no one should feel this comfortable. This is the God's honest truth. No one should feel this comfortable, put, comfortable putting themselves in like that. Whatever you've been doing out here, sir, is about to backfire on you horribly. And I don't know if you've been walking around with a secret, but it's not a secret anymore. You see the sun out here and the star, I mean, and the um, tower out here. <laughs> That's all the universe. It ain't nobody doing it to you, but the universe. Okay? Yeah, this whole family is burdened. They're, they're burdened, and we've been told them they're burdened because of the impulsive actions they've been taking, trying to have someone on live, on alive, have someone caught up in court cases, trying to bind people uh, to situations, uh, some type of curse is that we're going to bond this person either to some type of financial obligations. We're going to put them in some type of court case. We're going to send someone to unalive them. I keep hearing something about a man that was trying to set a woman up to be kind of sold to the highest bidder. But they were going to do it in some type of sneaky way where it's like they gave a key to, of your house, your condo, your uh, apartment to someone. Um, like the, the owners of that building or something like a maintenance of someone made a copy and gave it to these people. What they were going to do, because some of them, they may have cameras in your homes and things like that. It's like they wait till you fall asleep. They come in, drug you, and then have their way with you. And they're recording it while they're doing it. Um, and then they can go out. And show it to people and tell people that you're a prostate. Meanwhile, you're not. It's just them setting things up to make it look like you are, right? But when you come out and try to tell people that's not true, I'm not that, I didn't do that, then it's kind of hard to hard for people to believe because these people have been setting it up that way. There's some type of monitoring going on. People have been monitoring a high priestess or something like that. Um, and trying to see what kind of action she's going to be taking or he's going to be taking. Um, but there's something where it's like either somebody's ex or just a bitter, insecure, masculine out here. Or this could be a woman that was trying to strip another woman of her identity, uh, strip you of your modesty. Don't want people seeing you as someone of high honor or respect, right? So she or he may have been setting something up where you be like sold to the highest bidder or people could just come in and have their way with you and someone is going through some type of horrible karma for that. People may have some type of camera in a home or an apartment where they're watching people. These are karmic people that are monitoring your life. They're trying to see what it is that's going on in your life, okay? Uh, maybe something happened. They may not even have access to your home anymore. I would change the locks if I was you. Uh, put some type of lock behind the door or something like that just so they don't have access to it 
but it's some type of karma playing out for these people this whole entire family is that whatever it is they were trying to do to you uh manifest for you <laughs> manifest because these are people that pay for things to go in their favor it's not really manifestation it's manipulation it's conflict um it's illusions okay chaos magic that's what these people do you see the truth out the truth is out this whole community is going through a tower for taking impulsive and reckless actions trying to come out here pretending like they were advocating for people supporting people out here for the neighborhood they support the community these people don't support the community these are greedy people these people are going through towers Something they plotted against someone did not go according to plan and it is, has them in some type of hot water. If they did this for money, the money is over. If they did this for a ten of pentacles, the ten of pentacles is over. If they built anything off of your back, it's over. Like everything is out. Instead of them now taking reckless action, maybe they're choosing the thing. Because everything they do, there's some type of stagnation, some type of stalemate. So now before they take the next action to cause you destruction, the universe is forcing them to think. So you want to think before you take action because this is the end of the road. And I don't know how you want to go out. You want to go out with a bang? We do too. So you go ahead and do what you want and we'll do what we want. It's going to be balanced at the end. We know what you're going to do. You don't know what we're going to do. Okay? But this whole family, community, going through a tower. Um... You may have people trying to flee, trying to run, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Someone is also, I just heard someone is finding out that a Queen of Cups may be very, very <laughs> into more intelligent than they realize. <laughs> Some, there's an emperor out here. <laughs> there's an emperor out here <laughs> that is finally accepting the fact that a queen of cups is not as dumb as they look he's finding out that this woman is actually an empress he said i thought this mother sucker was dumb this person i thought was a page of cups the whole time you want to tell me this is an empress maybe even more intellectual than myself here i've been sneaking and uh, calculating my whole life here it is i've met someone that's Worse than me, except they're in the upright. There's a man out here that's very cunning, very cunning, very calculative on how he moves. But there's something about you, Queen of Cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone does not know that you have been observing them from the moment you met them or even spoke to them. This is an emperor. He does not know that you don't learn this man like the back of your hand. And every word that comes out of his mouth. You already know what it is. Some of them have emotions for you, but they did you something that they have to confess and they are afraid of confessing it. But there's a man out here. <laughs> there's a man out here that's learning a lesson. And you weren't even mean to this person. Someone is learning a lesson the diplomatic way. You know how empresses are. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't come out here doing all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll do things in a very subtle way. By the time you find out or realize what's going on, it's too late. But there's a man out here that's realizing one, you're very, you're very uh, loyal. You're very uh, intellectual. You're someone with a lot of foresight. Someone maybe even realizing that they can benefit from your. Uh, your intuition, your gifts in whatever it is that you have because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. You could be someone that's very gifted. He's realizing that, huh, it's probably beneficial to be a partner with this person uh, instead of being their enemy. There is a narcissist, however, that's trying to stop you from moving on. And, honey, someone's going to step in to fix that, to balance that out. Uh, there could be a King of Pentacles you're not aware of that want, may want to make a commitment with you to you. Uh, sees you as wish fulfillment. Someone's done the work behind the scenes. Maybe he's holding this close to his, to his chest. So we're gonna, gonna skip that. Uh, whoever this community is, honey, all I keep hearing is it's a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes. Maybe we really don't care. Uh, that don't got nothing to do with us. We got our victory, and that victory, how we're gonna get it, the universe says that it's a shh. Someone's being hunted behind the scenes, I just heard. Uh, <laughs> they said, hey, 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 you see us. This is between you and I. This is between. 
someone's ancestors is back to hunting someone behind the scenes. They say, hey, hey again, what's up? You didn't learn your lesson the last time? Okay, that's okay. You're going to learn it this time. Uh, shh, don't tell nobody. This is between us. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, somebody is going through it. Somebody is going through it. They're, they're planning something again. They're planning something, and it's going to backfire all again. They said, we're going to do the lights out. And your ancestors, the universe, they're right there. So we're just waiting patiently. Something supernatural is playing out in a group of people's lives. Something very supernatural. The whole family is worrying. Nothing good around these people. They got the five of pentacles going on. The tower, knight of swords in reverse. The ten of swords. Got the nine of swords. Maybe ain't nothing good going on in these people's lives. And they're still out here trying to destroy you. And that's why your ancestors don't care with the fact they're playing Russian roulette with these people. They say, you want to play? You want to bum bum? You want to play with the big boys? Kitty kitty. Yeah, they drop top. <laughs> don't drop your cup now. What's in your cup? Don't drop. Don't drop the cup. Pick your cups up. <laughs> But your ancestors, baby, they're having them a few days. You got the freaking Knight of Wands in the reverse. The freaking, oh my gosh, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. What is going on? These people are not having a good time at all. And it's all it all has to do with money, a business that does not belong to them. Or it was ill-gotten. Someone stole something. They're trying to hold on to it. They're trying to block a contract for some of you. Some of you just stole your inheritance that was left for you. And they don't want you to receive it. And the universe said, we're going to keep causing havoc in your life until you let go. Someone said, they're not letting go. And they said, that's okay. <laughs> we're not going to rush you. Because <laughs> yeah. when we're done with you, you won't even want to touch that. You won't even want to touch that. Someone's going through karma. Mm. There's another, there's a king of pentacles behind the scenes. Baby, you're about to be going through it. He's probably already going through it. This man is burdened and his company is about to be over. Oh, yeah, it is. You're going to lose that. You're going to have to build it from the ground back up. Um, just like you try to dismantle someone's foundation so that they have to build from, from the ground back up. You're about to have to do the same thing. And then there's another king of pentacles that's doing something. Baby, I don't know if it's the same person, but either way, karma is going to be playing out and balancing the situation. There could be a narcissist that's trying to get away from a situation, trying to go on the run. I don't know where you're going to go, queen of cups, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. They're going to catch you. They is going to catch you. You're going to have to go to the pen in my tenture. Uh, and I'm my pen. pen. No, 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 no. You're going to have to go to the pen in your tenture, baby girl. Good luck. Good luck. Good uh, luck. Okay? They may be even trying to stop someone else from going on some type of trip. They say, you can't go to that new community. We don't want you to have a new beginning. Girl, you about to be going through nothing but stagnation, still mixed. You about to be out here having to do some funny things for money. That's all I can tell you. Some funny things for money because you're about to be so broke, bro, girl. Who, baby. What a sad, sad life. Why would people want to manifest this kind of reality for themselves? Why? These people are trying to put an ending to your mind, your intellect. They don't want people to think that you are smart. They don't want people to think that you are intellectual. They don't want people to think that you are a thinker. You're not good to do business with. You're not a leader. You're not going to be successful. People partnering up with you is not a good thing. They want to put an end to your success. And that's exactly what the universe is doing to them. It's there. So until you do right by my star, see, and nothing you touch from the flourish, everything you build will fall down to the ground until you fix the situation. Okay? Then the whole community, baby, you all had a right to poverty. I've been saying this. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. You all had a right to poverty going through karma while you're trying to trap someone in someone so that they don't get what it is that's theirs. It's the end of the road. Poverty is the road that lies ahead for you all. All, everybody, everybody. Hey, going through it. Mm. Yeah, everybody's about to be going through it. There's a Sagittarius, baby. You're about to be going through karma, too. We've been talking about you, right? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. You know, my brain is just a pea size. So, excuse me if I don't remember everything. But, 
Baby, you must be going through it, through it. You're trying to cross a tower, tower to someone that ain't do nothing, nothing to you. You're in your ego, acting out of your ego. You better go fix it. Because the ancestors, the universe, they said they want you to know they just started. They ain't done yet. Say so we're here and we're just getting started. We're just getting started. You worry now or you don't worry. You're about to be burdened. Burdened, burdened, burdened. But collective on your side of the spectrum of the track. Things are being balanced out. Okay, there could be also a king of pentacles being exposed. <laughs> Someone very greedy. Someone cares about nothing but money. He said, all I care about is the money. I don't care about none of the other stuff. I don't care who I got to take down. I don't care who I got to destroy. Who toes I got to step on. Who toes I got to cut up. In fact, I don't care who I got to lie on. I don't know. I don't care who I have a trap. And the universe said, oh, really? Okay, you know the universe is petty. They'll be listening to you. Just, you know, just looking. Just listening. You said, oh, really? Okay, okay. We're about to match that energy. You don't care, right? Correct? We're just confirming. You don't care? Okay, you don't care. Okay, so, ba -ba bum 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 tower for you. Anyways, thank you folks for watching. I haven't done the rooms this week or last week. Lord have mercy. I'm trying to implement the rooms in here, and I've only done it one in the last, I think, two or three weeks. I'll do it this week. I do it in another video, but it won't be this one, another one. Um, and then I have to start doing the dominoes, which I think I have to do on the 28th of each month now. I'm only going to do that once a month because the dominoes is a little tricky. Uh, doing domino divination is a little tricky. So I want to do that once a month. Excuse me. I'm still trying to work on stuff around here. But thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next tarot reading. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Princess channel. As always, you are loved. You are appreciated. Be sure to come on back and listen to a crazy woman. Just yap away. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.